structural system of a rocket. Supply of rocket structure is a lucrative business, but somehow requires the most highest standard in metallurgical engineering. Some important drivers in rocket construction is the mass ratio, i.e. the ratio of the fuel mass to the dry mass of the rocket. The higher the mass ratio, the greater the change in velocity, delta V, that the rocket can achieve. Maneuvers towards orbit, the moon or any other point in space are measured by their respective delta V and this in turn defines the required mass ratio of the rocket. For example, at an altitude of 200 km an object has to move at 7.8 km per second in order to enter low Earth orbit LEO. Taking into account friction and gravity losses, the actual need that rocket scientists have to construct when starting from a rest on a launch pad is just under delta V equals 10 km per second. At the same time, we have to ask ourselves how the mass of the rocket structure can best be minimized the designer must achieve to minimize the structural mass required to safely contain the propellant. There are essentially two options for this, the use of lightweight construction materials and or the maximization of the geometric shape of the structure. When we speak of light materials we mean that the material has high values of specific stiffness, specific resistance and or specific thickness. In optimizing the geometric design of the structure, the cylindrical rocket projecto is the ultimate option, it has a second advantage in that it acts as a pressure vessel to hold the pressurized propellants. The internal pressure of the propellants increases the circumference of the rocket hull and gives the skin, similar to the inflation of a balloon, tensile deformations that prevent gravitational compression and inertial loads. It is important or a must for rockets to be reusable so as save in material cost. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share.